All week we've been exploring the lesser known areas around Zion and today we're going to continue doing the exact same thing. We're going to be exploring all around a town called Kanab in Utah surrounded by a bunch of stunning beauty that doesn't get enough attention. I'm shooting an arrow. Yeah, baby! Come on, hell, what you got on me? Yeah, oh crap! Starting off today on Toadstool Trail. It's a little trail right off of Route 89 between Page, Arizona and Kanab, Utah. This is awesome. It's just really cool to see all the different colors. And when have you ever seen rocks like that? The trail kind of like dissipates at this point. I don't know where to go next, but it sounds like you can just explore around and check out all the little nooks and crannies. On to our next trail, the most strenuous one of the day, Mansard Trail, four miles. It was listed as strenuous on our little research thing. So we're all packed up, snacks, water, sandwiches, sunscreen, trekking poles. We got the whole nine yards. This trail's already yeah. much harder than all the other ones we've done. We just passed a group of people who said, they were at four and a half miles and it took them just under three hours. A good hike. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. It's yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Great, great. Matching glass, three matching glasses. Almost, yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah, yeah thank you very much. much. Yeah, you too. That was insane. No shoes. I mean, I guess I have barefoot shoes on, so he's just taking it to the next step. Well, we've gotten to a point where we gotta scramble. This is gonna be fun. You got it, Gabby. There you go, there you go. Nice. There you go, Jazz. Easy. My turn. Let's see if I do this. That's cool. That's really cool. That was awesome. I like that little bit in there. Whoo! You got a fun little rock scramble right here. Awesome. Hello. Oh, you're seeing on the other side? 
<laughs> we made it up to the top. It's just straight up. Oh, that's where we go. Those caves over there. That's not that far. Just straight ahead, the white spot. Those two little domes. I mean, given the fact that we start our way down there, and that's all we have to go, and it's relatively flat. That's stunning. Thank you, God. Yeah, for real. This makes me feel emotional. Really? Yeah. And up we go. I don't know how there's thick sand on the top of this mountain. Like, look at that. You slide in. On the top. Literally, on the top of the mountain with a ton of rocks. No joke, it's a beach. However high we are. No wonder why that guy was barefoot, because you can he was walking on the sand on the beach up here. We're almost there. Or so I think. Just a couple more sandy hill climbs like this. Then we'll be at the petroglyphs. There are the caves. Evidently there's some cool petroglyphs inside. That's what we're gonna go check out. And eat a little sandwich while we're here. Made it up into one of those arches here. I'm assuming that's someone shooting an arrow. Arrow going, arrow going, and then maybe there's something down here. That's cool. You see any more? Oh wow, yeah, look at those too. Bird maybe? Like a lamb? Oh cool. Wow, they're everywhere. Look at this. A lizard, maybe? A lollipop. Cool. What is it called? Petroglyphs. Alright, it took us an hour to go 2.34 miles. Reach the petroglyphs. And then to get this view. That's definitely worth it. The hardest part is probably the end where you're coming up. Like from there, you come up onto that ridge. But then to make your way up here, you're just climbing up sand. That's probably the hardest part. That is almost straight up to get to over there. You're just zigzagging up the mountain, but that's not that bad. This is probably a little more worse. That was amazing. That was amazing. You should definitely come see that. Definitely come see the petroglyphs. But of course, respect it. Try not to step on them or scratch anything else there. But wow. Amazing hike so far. Now time to head our way back. That was an amazing hike. No other words for it. Good. Mansard Trail, an amazing hike. Hey, that's it, baby. <laughs> Woo! We've done a good amount of hiking today. So, our next stop is a little cave with the Museum of Ancient History. Evidently, this place has a ton of history. And that's what we're gonna come do, is learn some of the history of of this cave. Oh wow, it's pretty. Alright, so 
Moki Cave, not really worth going in there. It's cool, you just saw the cool things with the dinosaur tracks and if you have kids, they'll probably really like it. But we thought it was like a cool cavey adventure. It was like one little offshoot with rocks and then basically a gift shop. If that's your thing, go in. Not really my thing. So on to the next stop. For our last stop of the day, we're at Coral Pink Sand Dune State Park because we're gonna go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta go to a steeper hill. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah, woo! <laughs> All right, Jazzy, what's your approach here? Well, first, you gotta get in the board. Okay. After Good first that, step. you just you just go. Send it. Oh, Jazzy! Yeah! <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> you got it? You good? Oh, oh! <laughs> That was starting off great. Nice, nice. He started singing when he was about this little sketchy. See? Yeah, baby. Come on, Hill. What you got on me? What you got on me, Hill? Let's go. What you got? What you got on me? What you What you got on me? What you got on me? Woo! No. My man is dead. No. Tired of climbing up. It's hard going up and down these hills. All right, here's what we've surmised so far. Riding on the sled, it seems like you would have more control, but you don't, because as soon as it starts turning, you got nothing to do. Then you hit the ground hard. Riding on the snowboard, it's, or a sandboard, you have a little bit more control if you know what you're doing, but I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so the only person who's successfully gone down is Jazz. She's just straight up, booked it straight down. Just no fear, just straight line. And all the rest of us are just scared and trying to carve. And she's like, F that, I'm just gonna go straight down. And she's killed it. Oh, is she getting ready for another run? Yeah, she is, watch, watch her kill it. <laughs> Here we go, last run of the day. I'm a little nervous, because at this point I've fallen down enough that I just don't want to get hurt, but at the same time I'm trying to enjoy. All right, how do I start now? Whippa! Besame! Quiero sentir tu Oh crap! All right, halfway down the hill. Come on, we're gonna make it down. With the sunset too, that would have been clutch. All right, come on. Whippa, whippa, whippa. Yeah, buddy, mama no. All right, that was a little anticlimactic. Last run of the day, one fall, not too bad. That was fun. Would I recommend coming and doing this? Yes. Is it a little pricey? Yeah, actually it's not that bad. $35 total for you to come do this. It's worth it, especially on a nice day like today. Now we're gonna enjoy the sunset and hit up the hotel. So I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching so far. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it gave you some ideas of things to do outside of just your Zion and Bryce and truly having to wait for a ton of people at all those places. There's a lot of fun to be had in a lot of cool places. So get out there and explore.